And we're back at College Station, Texas for our second game of the day with a D1 MCLA Lone Star Alliance matchup between the Texas A&M Fighting Aggies at 4-4 four and four and the University of Texas Longhorns that sit at, let me look here, Five and three on this young season. Both these teams are well seasoned and ready to roll. And again, this is a fantastic facility. And if you have the means, I would highly recommend you show up and run your organization through here for a tournament, soccer tournament, lacrosse tournament, you name it. And the principals will touch up. With Jacob Rollins heading back to goal for A N for Texas, and Jake Sansom, the Friendswood senior, heading back to the pipes for your Aggies. Christian DeAngelis is in for Texas. have flags down on this spirited matchup. And Will Cutter is going to take a 30 second rest. Anthony Arnold checks in for A&M on the attack. <laughs> University of Texas takes advantage of their of their ball movement, creates an opening with the Aggie defense caught off guard. And Max Egan pops it in for the Longhorns. Texas A&M up 1-0 with 14-26 left in the first. DeAngelis on the clean, on the clean uh, pickup on the faceoff. And the last time we saw DeAngelis was a game on broadcast we had with Santa Barbara, and he was pretty much on point the entire day. So the Aggies will have their hands full. And hopefully Cutter can do something to right the ship, take advantage. Elliot Reed Elliott with the ground ball pickup runs into the offensive zone. Looks for help down in the corner. Had a push on Connor Leg. Spin clockwise. Whoa. 
looking for looking for the ride to falter by A and M. Scott France picks up the ground ball. Jared Cordova checks in along with Alex Sansom. Sansom right off the stop with a shot down low. Jacob Rollins is on it. And A&M contests the alley. Disrupted shot. Jake Sansom pulls it in. Cordova with a nifty swim move. Clear space. Ball stays in play. Rollins back to pick it up. Clears from the crease, pressured by the Aggies. Aggie ball. Bradley Thompson makes clear. Falls at the willing hand of the poke check from University of Texas. Sides. Shot clock down to 56. So two years ago when they put in the shot clock, they put an 80-second shot clock and took the uh, the time it took to to clear into the offensive zone and applied that to 20 seconds, added that on to the 80. So you have 60 seconds to work within your offensive zone and 20 seconds to clear midfield into that zone on a possession change. George Tucker was streaking across the goal face late it late attended on a on a slide had an open lane and uh, just dumped it in. And the Longhorns are up two nothing. Aggie switch it up with Drew Beasley in at face off. 
DeAngelis on the answer for Texas. Bounce shot well over the cage. George Tucker's pushed into the, I checked that, that was Christian Reno pushed into the, uh, into the cage by the Aggie defense. Reed Cameron comes up to the mid to open up for the, open up for the pass so the Aggies can set up, leg in through X. Ball loose. <laughs> Isaac Mignoza keeps it in the offensive zone. It's just pummeled if he can get loose. Adam Weimer on the hard checking defense. And the stop will all be for not. So they will be two men down for 30 seconds. University of Texas will be down, man down for the slash for a minute. Aggies keep it live. Ball out. Aggie ball. Fresh shot clock. An unfortunate turnover for Texas A&M. Reno rides across the goal face and stuffed out by Sansom. We are back to full strength for both squads as we And here from Texas A&M with 5.56 left in the first. You're fighting the Aggies are down two to nothing to the visiting Texas Longhorns 
in the smack dab middle of this lacrosse extravaganza going on here at College Station, Texas. University of Texas set up on the wing. William Lavere brings in. Mac. Jake Johnson on some tough defense on the ride. Creates a turnover for the Aggies to take advantage of. Travis Palmer checks in for University of Texas. Jared Cordova for the Aggies. Josh Fox, ball still down. Cameron on the pickup. Leg with a point blank shot. Right in off the goalie stick for the University of Texas. Smith on the crease with the shot at the goalie's feet. Sampson reels it in and flips the field. And we're going to assess a penalty here at the next stoppage of play. Should be a 30-second slash. We're going to serve one minute. Aggie set up, man up. Jared Cordova on the step down and turns the ball over. Sansa with a great, great leg stay. Down low on the outside. Drew Benson runs the length. The Aggies are certainly not without opportunity. They're just running into a 52, 52. they're running into a hot goalie. Cordova pops it in from the top. Brings it 1-2. And the Aggies with a wonderful possession. Good rotation and kept the ball off the ground, and that's key at this point.
Jake Johnson on the ground ball. He's still alive. Beat the LSM for the University of Texas. Leg in on through the back. Josh Fox picking it up on the scramble and dumping it in. We got us a new ball game, 2-2. Two -two. With 2.26. 226 remaining in the first quarter. Here from College Station, Texas. DeAngelis wins the clamp. Longhorns retain possession on the shot. Had a wide open net, one on one, and just unfortunately didn't get his hips through the shot, went wide. Looking for leverage right to Sampson's stick. Isaac Mendoza checking in. Eli Englehart waiting for his sub out. As Scott France comes off, he'll check in. We got a clock reset on the penalty. Aggies work the back side of the offensive zone. Nice dish to leg and just over the top of the goal. Not even really a runner on that. Shot through the end line. UT retains possession. Up top to Hup. Christian Reno on the dive shot about 10 feet out. Went low. Sampson could not get it. He set up high. Reno goes low on the outside outside corner of the goal. Nice save by Sampson. Sensen's just bowing his back and keeping the keeping the goal clean. End of one. Aggies down three to two. This is everything we thought it was going to be. These two teams are matched up very well. 
just throwing haymakers and making it happen. Kyle Hartzell's in there talking to talking to his squad and getting them set up. And at this point, there is absolutely not a thing to change. You got a couple of goalies with hot hands. You got uh, your face-off guy is solid. And all they have, both these teams just need to kind of clean it up a little bit, keep the ball off the turf. Coach Scazzaro is basically explaining the same thing. And if the Aggies could just keep the keep it clean, keep the thing off the turf, they will certainly have something to talk about here at the end of this game. Another UT win on faceoff. DeAngelis comes off immediately on a turnover before they can get their offense set. Braden Montgomery unloads from about 30 feet out. Certainly makes a different looking ball coming off a six foot stick. Leg down behind the goal, stirring the drink, setting it up for the Aggies. Beasley on a hard check, still holds possession. Texas ball. UT into the offensive zone. Reno looking for a lane. Dishes out. Longhorns reset. Aggies with a good ride.
UT sets back up, looking for lanes, going back up top. Morrison in, shoots, back of the net. And UT up four to two on the Aggies. Aggies answer with Cordova on the faceoff. See if they can mismatch a little, a little luck here. Cordova shoots, goes wide. Back up to Cordova. Cordova on the rebound shot. And he had a goalie re-enter the crease. And UT will be manned down for 30 seconds. Cordova unloads up top. Kennedy comes out. And right before the penalty is released, A&M punches in for a goal. Reed Cameron unloading to bring the back the Aggies back four to three. Here we right at eleven minutes left in the second. Cutter picks it up. Feeds Jake Johnson. Love that. Love goes low. Isaac Mendoza unloads up top over the top pipe. Hi. Over to Thompson. Shot low. 
Rollins saves it low. UT shoots wide. The defense. Rowdy Brown checks in a goal for University of Texas. Shoots wide. Longhorns retain possession. Reno shoots wide across the goal face. Aggies ball. And UT was set up to win transition and are rewarded with the ball here. Basil and Apocalypse went right through the goal face. Aggies on aggressive clear. Goldsmith with a heads up play on the pole. University of Texas ball through the end line. Seven thirty four left here in the second. Up, down. Oh, turnover. Hard check by Ty Bodkin. Good aggressive play. Nothing there for the Aggies on that one. Dawson Merrill doing a great job about shutting contain, keeping him, keeping him on the lane and up and out. Shot off the pipes, another answered back shot wide. UT timeout. So here we sit with 630, 6.29 left in the second. And the Aggies are certainly not going down without a fight. They are in the offensive zone attacking and uh, certainly trying to put it on the pipes. They've cleaned up the cleaned up the turnovers, maintaining the ball in offensive possessions and trying to keep the thing off the turf.
Kyle Hartzell's got his his Longhorns all set up here for this last six and a half minutes of the of the half. They are certainly exploiting possession and taking care of the little game. That's you know, and the game inside creating creases or creating opportunities in the in, in the uh, in the lanes and uh, you know things could start falling for them as well. Longhorns will set up in the offensive zone. Egan to Hup. Hup down through X to Reno. Hup attacking the lane. Reed Elliott with some great defense on the ride. Forces a soft shot in with a handy reel in. Johnson comes off. Arnold. Thompson checks in. Aggie's looking for leverage. Denies the screen, goes into the corner, it's doubled, breaks free of that. And the, a and, and the Longhorn ride created a turnover. Christian Reno on the, on the edge. Waiting for the Longhorns to reset the offense. Tucker George checks in for University of Texas. Back to, back to Aries. Tucker George attacking. Daniel Schmidt with some hard defense. Broke that up, wouldn't let wouldn't let uh, University of Texas catch the edge and go down a lane. Scott France picks up the steal on the pass. Aggies with a minute on the shot clock and plenty of time on the clock for this half. Reed Cameron checking back in on defense. Let's UT out of the double. Hup streaks through the lane. Oh, 
UT opts to work from the back side. Up the lane, got leverage and tosses a bounce pa a bounce shot into the far side of the cage. UT up 5-3. Just a little under two and a half minutes left in the quarter. DeAngelis is pretty salty on the face-off today. Sansom on a clean clear, finally settles. Englehart gets stripped on the on the dingling check from the pole of University of Texas. Mendoza on the move. Will Cutter gets one right on the right on the crease. Goes low. University of Texas stifles the shot. UT forcing the forcing the Yaggies to the edge. Alex Sansom with a shot. UT draped on the ride. Aggies with the clear. Texas A&M calls timeout. Shot clock irrelevant with 20 seconds left in the second quarter. Aggies will want to strike quickly. Down 3-5 to the Texas Longhorns. And as we come out from the timeout, Aggies will have possession. And it will be all hands on deck on the offensive zone.
leg up to Cordova. Cordova shoots wide. Leg brings in. Has leverage. Shoots high. And as we can things in the first half here, your Texas A&M Aggies down three to five to the Texas Longhorns. The tail of the tail of the first half has been the Aggies' ball control has come and gone in spurts. A lot of balls on the turf. Solid. Solid play by both teams in the uh, in the pipes, and uh, DeAngelis has just been great off the faceoff, and and really sets the table for the UT offense. Coach Kazora can kind of clean things up a little bit in the fr from the first half, keep the ball in the in pockets instead of on the turf. But this is not getting out of hand by any stretch of the imagination. So from Texas A&M, here in about a little less than nine minutes, we'll get back to business. And for Game On Sports, from Texas A&M, I'm Jim Dixon.
And here in about 45 seconds, we're going to get back underway here from College Station, Texas. We have the University of Texas. Get your Texas A&M fighting Aggies lacrosse. And the Aggies are down four or five to three in the first half. And uh, it's been a heck of a game. Everything we get a hope for with these teams matching up. Nobody really giving any ground. Just a couple little things to clean up. Uh, on both sides, the Aggies are a little bit more costly because it's ground balls and giving up, giving up balls, uh, putting the ball on the turf. So uh, hopefully they, hopefully A and M can right the ship. But by no means is this thing out of hand for either party. And DeAngelis for the University of Texas will face off. against Will Cutter and Aggie Ball. Cutter into pressure. Leg goes up top on the aggressive pass. UT forces a turnover. And Travis Palmer up that ground ball, run it well into the uh, UT offensive zone. Scott France checking in for the Aggies. And Sterling Hupp for the Longhorns goes down the alley, beats his man on the edge, and just pops it into the backside of the net. Right where Jake Sanson is already set up inside, he can't get to it. The Angelus with another good face off. Beasley loses his stick and basically turns into office furniture on the face off as the thing still rolls around. Aggie's ball on procedure. Englehart checks in along with Cordova. Goes righty on the left-hand side. Just pops it right in the bottom part of the net. K. Kennedy unable to catch up to it. He's the third third stopper they've put in there today. He's, he's the original starter. And the Aggies are... Creeping back in this thing, 4 6. Aggie's ball on the withhold. Cordova and Fran, or Cordova and uh, Engelhart check in. Leg from the edge. Oh, help, Will. Help him, Will. 
errant throw over and back. UT keeps it in play. Opts for speed. And scores quickly. Great transition on the on the turnover and uh, made the Aggies pay. UT up 4-7. Aggies counter with Nolan DeRosa. The officials are exhibiting some discipline here with offsetting unsportsman likes. Texas rolls in, shoots wide. And both squads are back at full, full speed. Shot off the pipes. Aggies ball. Sampson well out of the goal. Cameron back in through leg. Up top to Mendoza. Over to Englehart, just checked in. Has leverage and unloads low. Rollins on the save. Shot wide. Leg will bring it in, 68 left on the shot clock. Aggies taking care of the ball this series. Mendoza picks up. Serving a one minute slash.
Englehart shoots wide. Texas on the hustle, rewarded with the ball. Huff with a clean clear, takes it to length. UT resets offense. Goldsmith. Check that. John Burton unloads wide and uh, or wide on the on the seam. Goes in. And the Aggies are down four to eight. With just over nine minutes left in the third. Procedure, Aggies ball. Cutter over to Cordova. Camber denies the screen, stays live. Goes in, dishes into the double. Ball loose and Aggies retain possession. Leg shoots low to high over the over the top bar. Josh Fox on the roll shoots behind the cage. Pops it in. No real leverage went right to it on the turnaround. Popped it in on the on the lower corner. DeAngelis takes the face off. Beasley in pursuit. And off. Scott France checking in. Out to Gregor on the wing. Reed Elliott with a forced turnover. Ground ball. Just ditches into Sansom to bring out for the clear. Tracks down Dawson Merrill. Guy can't go 
into Engelhardt. Rollins with a nifty, nifty fake to keep it alive. George off for UT. Max Engel in. Aggies counter with attack. Tarosa was down with a turnover. UT gets shot, picks up the ball shy of midfield. Egan in to keep the offsides from happening. Aggie's ball on procedure. Leg shoots. DeRosa across with some physical play. University of Texas ball. Gear will bring up under pressure. UT really looking to make something happen and not finding it. Botkin with the ground ball pickup. Back to Sampson. Benson under pressure. UT forces a turnover. seems to be a little bit more particular about their shot selection. UT with leverage. Ball's turned over. Benson with a handy little pickup.
Greg back through X, trying to get some Good luck. some place to make a move. Yeah! yeah. Come on. No, no, he's kidding. We have a crease violation. Shot does not stand. Aggie ball. Rollins picks up the errant, uh, errant pass, brings it up. University of Texas switches the field. One minute. One minute. Minute four left in the third. <laughs> UT up 8-5. Montgomery with a handy strip. Nice ball movement by the Aggies. Eli Englehart goes around the goalie on a wrap shot, just buries it in the back. And they won that the last seven seconds on transition. Three seconds left. Max Egan on the wing, just screaming for the open shot, and they feed him, and he he dumps it down low. And UT up 9-6 with just under 10 seconds left here in the third quarter. And here, starting up the fourth quarter from College Station, Texas. Your fighting Aggies are down by three goals, 9-3. A&M is definitely taking advantage of the transition. Pumping in a couple of quick goals. But the answer seems to be the UT is having sustained possessions and not real sloppy with the ball. But by no stretch of the imagination does do the Ag are the Aggies out of this, only being down three goals. Coach Tony Scazzaro is preaching to the preaching just turn just the, stop the turnovers, keep the ball. Possession, 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 and don't turn it over. And uh, it's effective in spurts.
And the Aggies bust the huddle and come out focused on winning the next 10 seconds, doing the small work, which is how you win lacrosse games. In the world of college and high school lacrosse, it's always shot clock issues. And there is always a shot clock villain. We'll get it underway here. DeAngelis again salty on the on the faceoffs. Aggie set the offense. Cutter checks in, gets a shorthanded pass. Looks for the left. He shot down the lane. Closes up on him on the slide. Englehart turns the corner and unloads. Texas with a great save. Leg had leverage and turned back. Shoots wide. A&M retains. Jacob Rollins snatches the, the errant pass across the goal face. Had an open man on the back side. Sometimes luck happens. Travis Palmer avoids the push out, keep the ball in play for UT. UT working from the back of the net, just happy to do so. Got a fresh set of numbers on the shot clock. Huff with the shot. Sampson on a clean save. Wes Gilbert keeps it live, takes it up at the top. Over to Hup. Reno back through X, just keeps it going. Back up top. 
Let's see what they want to go for. Goes right down the lane and into the back of the net. UT up 10-6. Aggie sidelines bowing their backs. They want to stay in this. Aggies progressive on the clear. Leg with a handy, handy pickup and shot from about 40 out. Empty net. Taking advantage of chaos that happens. DeAngelis <laughs> going right for the net. Sansom on a good wall stop. Aggies turn over on some sloppy passes. Aggies ball. Aggies down to set the offense. Cordova picks up, shoots. Saved. Good heads up play by Reed Cameron. Cordova with a handy swim. Not the crispest of passes into leg. Kind of got kicked around a little bit. Aggies turn over. Sets. Oh, 
Hupp with the shot wide. UT retains possession. John Burton. Feeds Ender to Christian Reno who dumps it behind his back into the wide side of the goal. And UT with 8.02 left in the fourth steps up 11-7. Andrew Beasley checks in on the faceoff against DeAngelis. Procedure, Aggies ball. And we'll assess a penalty here. Cameron over. Cutter brings up wing. Beasley hustles after the ground ball. So we got Connor Brown serving a minute for two separate penalties. And unlike our justice system, they do not serve concurrently. So he will be released off his first penalty and then serve his time for his second penalty. Leg with a handy reel in. Englehart with a handy dish out wide. Too much pass and not enough field. And the Aggies turn over. Hup beats on the dodge midfield. Denies the screen. Aggies ball. And Ryan Thompson's going to come over here and Spend a spell. Serve a minute, reset clock. Aggies back full to 80. Down 7 11 here in the fourth. And Reed Cameron would have had some zip on that, but he had a couple of Aggies or a couple of Longhorns draped on his stick. That takes some velocity off the shot. Oh, yeah. 
Leg shoots wide. College was set up outside. A highly aggressive player, which turns into basically goalies playing catch. And Sansom wisely gets it down to the offensive zone. Collins with a or Rollins with a handy save. Another aggressive clear. Shoots wide. Egan checks in, takes the pass, or takes the clear and goes down and unloads wide. Shot wide by Wes Gilbert. Well over the pipes. John Burton, he saw a little crease and he went for it and went way over the pipes. The Aggies ride give to Gilbert and the rest of the Longhorns. John Burton with a scoop and behind the back on the empty net as Sampson came out to cover the ground ball. And that's one of those instances where aggressive defense doesn't help. Seven twelve, University of Texas, with just under four minutes left here in the fourth. John Burton out on the wing, living high off that last shot he just took. And the horn set up, which you probably see a lot of ball movement and watch them just kind of kill the clock down. Tucker George with a nifty leg drop fake and then goes around his man and right at the goal. And unfortunately there was no slide there to pick him up and he was one-on-one -on -one with Sampson, the keeper. And DeAngelis is in and just keeps managing to win every face off he's in. They've countered with a couple of different Aggies. 
throughout the day and to no avail. Palmer off. Mason Morris checks in. Unloads wide. Egan back up top, looking for the lane, feeds in low. Just under 30 seconds left on the shot clock. Christian Reno goes up the lane, unloads back over the back. To Sampson, who's already committed to the uh, the longer shot. <laughs> UT up 14-7 with. 139 left. And Aggies with a, with a win on the faceoff. Cordova picks up the ground ball. With 121, the Aggies are forced to basically run a gun. Cordova with a nice swim. Aggie score, 14-8, just under a minute left. Just keep making, taking. They can claw their way back into it, but they got to work quick. Jay Swallow checks in for UT on the faceoff. Aggies ball on procedure. Forty two left. Get in, get in. Twenty five. He's just eliminating any opportunity. Bounce shot over the back of the net. Aggies are forced to reset. And ball game. And UT executed when their opportunities came available to them. 
And the Aggies unfortunately floundered with ground balls with a couple of opportunities that could have turned into something and unfortunately didn't. But the, the Aggies all in all on the weekend, they're one and one with the loss to UT. UT, I think, plays one more game, and the Aggies have LSU in the morning. <laughs> He's coming. So as as the famous Isaac goes out to dap up his favorite players of the game, I, he should give out plays at players of the game. Isaac to be the guy that does that. But uh, these guys, a lot of these guys, all played high school together. Uh, they all know each other. They're very familiar with one another. And uh, this this game's not going away anytime soon. But here from College Station, Texas, the University of Texas up on top 14 to 8 over the fighting Texas Aggies. And the Aggies have done a great job this weekend, finishing 1-1 so far with a with one more opportunity tomorrow against LSU. And as as always, this is a fantastic facility. They host a lot of events and uh just a just a class operation great fields great accommodations great staff and if you ever have a chance to head down to college station and be involved in something that's on this on the youth or college level this is the place to go and again from college station texas for game on sports i'm jim dixon the aggies ended up on the short end of a 14 to 8 Game, 14 to 8 game and uh, we will be back with you tomorrow at 11 for LSU Texas A&M and good night and God bless